citizens caught up in the gunfire. We're our own worst enemy. Why can't we all just get along? Democracy battles with insurgency. Fast talking revolutionaries. What we really fighting for? So for us, seven people with seven very different backgrounds, from a monk in Burma to a faith healer in Denmark. What is it that they said to you that you think should so inspire people? You know, Andrew, all these people are not only speaking words of wisdom, but they have lived the wisdom themselves. And that's why they need to share that knowledge and that experience, more importantly, to the people watching. The reason why we have chosen diverse people from Burma to Italy is because each one had a different style, a different method of, but the message is clearly all the same. And on that point, as I say, with very different points, very different backgrounds, but was there some message that you feel they all shared? And what is that message? Of course, there's a variety of messages, and each one has their individual thoughts and individual ways to inspire people. But the collective, single, strong message is straightforward. When you help other human beings, and if you see them happy, you become happy yourself. I, um, I, in terms of feeling the weight of responsibility, I, I really hope to do good with, with, my, with my, my painting. Um, I, I really hope to... I hope to give and my... I think because of this religious background from my mother's side, there's always this sense of you must do what you can with what God has given you. It's just a privilege to be born in, in a land like this and to, we have to really um, in, in my opinion, just for, for ourselves, for our self-fulfillment, you know, to, to open our eyes, realize that every minute, you know, in this plane of existence on this earth is borrowed time. How can people manage to live happy lives? <laughs> To the bar, a chugu, song we don't need a bogua. The needy and that can make us a widow, a man that's sick, your cinema, Puya, Elemio Yonji, that Puya Kazara or no. How much injustice? I'm gonna get out there. Get up, talk of me, rat be I. To Yaki name, Buchingi. Oh, get up to the war, get chuki hair. Is it honey, is it nakar? Ci sono, ci sono persone che vivono da sole e che ogni giorno devono, devono, devono fronteggiare i problemi pratici della vita in città, uscire, andare a fare la spesa, andare al lavoro, attraversare delle strade, eh, aspettare il semaforo verde, evitare migliaia di ostacoli, tornare a casa, fare da mangiare, cioè le cose di tutti i giorni e per queste Io ho pensato che, che fosse veramente importante risolvere alla radice questo loro enorme problema. That I believe that all people around the world can learn how to pray, how important it is to pray, Wherever you are, wherever you have been, it's possible to change the world. Also, how to learn to meditate, to get peaceful inside. We can all learn, we can all be better if we want to. Tobias, I ask you the last question, which has fascinated me throughout this journey of discovery. Who is Tobias? I'm just the same as you are, Feroz. I'm passing through. Thank you, Tomas.
for many people, a mysterious country. So why, why Burma in particular? I think Burma, because for me, that is where it all started. That was the inspiration for my book, the inspiration for my learning, and the path to where we are today. Without Burma, I think I would still be in the dark ages. If your interviewees could meet each other, as you said, and you thought they would hug each other, do you think they would each ask a similar question of each other? I think they probably look at each other and say, perhaps smugly, haven't we got it right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Andrew.